Morning, Hi, Lucy. Lucy. Good morning. How was yesterday? Oh, you're so kind. It was fine. It was. I enjoyed it. I hope they did. Yeah, yeah. good. Well, no surprise there for me, at least. <laughs> uh, just to let you know, <laughs> I've already, fine. I've already begun the recording. Perfect. Yeah. Um, what I um, what I noticed when I recently went back to South Africa was the well, as I as I wrote and I exchanged the. The light, I instantly recognized as being very familiar. And at the same time, you realize it's been a while since you stood in that light. Um, linguistic changes. Um, I mean, we all, all three of us have three different mother tongues. Mm. So uh, I think that's quite interesting and that somehow we were able to find common ground in a common language. But um, language is another thing that I find um, when you go home or when you go back to where you grew up and in your own mother tongue, you can express ideas, I find, that are not translatable. You can translate them literally, but you can't express exactly the same thing. And that's also interesting. Uh, I've wondered if, if, if you try to capture some of these ideas with photography, I found it quite difficult. And I wonder if it's precisely for that reason um, that photography is a very literal um, recording of, at least the way that I practice it, of a scene or a situation. Yeah. Uh, it's very hard to inject some of these nuances with intangible um, aspects or factors into a photograph isn't it um and i guess sometimes when you're working on a series it's, you know at some point maybe some of that those intangibles start being suggested or repeated and give you some sense but um i find it quite challenging uh what you said reminds me of a paragraph i just read last night someone quoted it uh, there is a really famous japanese photographer and a photographer critic who died already uh, and he's m uh, more famous critique than a uh, uh, photographer actually he said uh if you really want to do photography you have to think it carefully because photography is actually one of the most difficult media that you can use to describe ideas so it's yeah. like especially in a digital age like now everyone got an iphone and can take a photo easily is no you don't you don't require anything apart from a phone i mean you, you can buy a really cheap one and but at the same time uh if you want to express intangible ideas like that it is extremely difficult but also i th i think um do you do you agree though that that each photograph will mean something different to to the different person viewing that? Yeah. yeah. You know, so so it will tap in to your own thoughts and feelings in in that subject area. I find that even looking at my own photographs today versus in two years' time, the meaning will be different. Uh, yeah, and you were talking about your churches. That as you as you've become further away from photographing uh, your churches, mm. they've they've taken on new meaning or new significance. Oh, yeah. I think that's what you were saying. Yeah, um, which I think just underlines what a slippery medium photography is. It's 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 um, it, it's very difficult to pin it down, uh, and maybe that's what's so intriguing about it. I I actually went through different phases in, since I uh, took photographs uh, when I, at, at a really rather young age. Uh, when I was young, I really loved writing, so I really loved the idea of complementing the photo with some paragraphs that I write, or even a poem or something like that. And then I went through a long period of time that I think if the photograph is powerful enough, you don't actually need any words to tell the audience what it is about because only the photograph will be enough 
now I'm sort of open ended. So it depends. It really depends on the images and the formats that I'm going to present the photographs. So I went through a a, a phase of um, sort of describing or or almost almost cataloging a photograph in it, with a title, um, and then moving away from that to more of a system, not really system, but um, allowing the photograph to speak for itself a bit more um, and, and maybe having um, an introductory piece of text um, that sort of gives it context and maybe some background information. Um, but what I have found writing useful as a mechanism to um, almost discover why a photograph or a series of photographs are interesting and occupy me. Um, yeah. and I, to me, uh, that's part of the reason why I photograph. It's, um, it's almost like a, 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 a way to come to terms with a situation or an idea or a, uh, a concern. And by Sometimes forcing yourself just to put down ideas, I found it a useful way of sort of bringing something I suppose that's subconscious to the surface and saying, ah, okay, that's why I consider this important or at least worth spending time on. So, Johannes, do the pictures always come first or do sometimes the words come first and, and you plan the pictures? For me, it's easier to make the photographs first, and it, it, it's almost like you respond to a situation by taking the photograph, you're not quite sure why, and then hopefully at some point you clock on and you go, ah, that's why. I take a photograph instinctively, I, I, I encounter my photographs, generally speaking, not in a planned way. Um, it, it, for me, it's almost it's almost a need to as a way of processing the world around me, mm. um, uh, and I and I think that's gone back to when I was really young. It's a way of kind of holding on to something that I value is is to take a photograph of it. And like you say, I don't necessarily know at that moment why it's tapping into something unconsciously. Sometimes it's more obvious, but sometimes it's not really at all. And then um, I, I try to really listen to that instinct and, and allow myself to respond to that instinct, um, to take those photographs and then to, tr to understand them maybe later, maybe much later. Um, but as you say, it's that reflecting and often it's through the writing that I gain a much a much greater understanding of of what what was below the, the the need or the reason for taking the photograph in the first place. Um, and that's another interesting thing of uh, photography. And we we mentioned this in our exchanges as well that um, we spoke of time, past, present, and future. But as a photograph travels through time, the meaning changes. Like, of course, the context within which it's read also changes. And um... a lot of my work is is black and white. And one of the things that I like about that is um, that I feel like it concentrates more on the kind of important for for me what's important the essence of of that moment of of the photograph and the light and the texture and the composition. Um, but what I've also noted when people look at the photographs is um, that it makes them question when the photograph was taken. Mm. And um, often they suspect that it might have been taken a long time ago because it's black and white. We talked about writing as a way of um, sort of bringing to the surface ideas and concerns um how have you found an exchange like ours um has that been 
useful to you um, for that purpose or for other reasons. I found it quite useful um, as a an informal, safe environment to raise ideas. Um, we've not been overly critical, but I'm sure that if we kept this up as time progresses, there will be space and opportunity for critique and, and um, perhaps a bit more critical thought as, as well. Um, but I found it quite useful to sort of put my own thoughts um, or organize my thoughts, put them down. Uh, you know, it's, it's not necessarily final, but it's a start of sort of formulating a point of view or, or a question or, or um, a take on things. Um, At least uh, it helped me to present a photo. I, I may not say it's like I, I'm very clear about my ideas yet, but like co how to convey an image uh, with my thoughts, then I think this is quite a beautiful way. I, I love it too. Um, I love the feeding in of of ideas and thoughts from from you two, from your perspectives, um, from what's going on in your life. Trying to articulate my feelings to try to express to you guys what, what it is that I'm feeling or thinking about or trying to portray in a photograph or trying to find a photograph that in any way captures what I'm feeling or, or, or it, it's all been so interesting and uh, and and really um, you know not always easy to to articulate and I don't feel like we can each bring what what we what's on the sort of surface for us at the at that moment and then either things get picked up or they don't and they might get picked up later on and so we have these threads that that kind of weave through the the narrative um and isn't it interesting that there's also an element of the familiar in the forum um i mean these meetings and our exchanges have, to me have started feeling quite familiar uh, and, and safe, if you will. But on the other hand, uh, I mean, we're all strangers to each other, really. 